Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another teardown video. I just got done servicing a transmission on a Mercedes and I saved the oil filter inside the transmission so we can do a teardown on it and see what's inside of these things. Now before we go ahead and begin guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Definitely smash that like button because it helps the channel out. And with that said, let's go ahead and tear into this transmission filter and see what's inside. So this is our transmission filter guys and it's going to be quite simple. Most of these are generally the same as far as how they work in principle. You normally have a filter that looks like this. It goes up inside the transmission. It'll have some sort of seal gasket here to uh, help keep it onto the transmission and seal it up. And then you'll have your filter element packed in here and you guys can see that's the suction tube right there. Uh, pretty basic. Now just to get it out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove our sealing ring. Uh, that this one has. This one uses an O-ring. It's one of the nicer ones. Uh, sometimes they use a collar, but this one just uses a O-ring for sealing, which is awesome. Uh, the way this filter is assembled, it's basically crimped together. And uh, you guys can see right here uh, on the edge, you basically see it rolled over onto the plastic. Now there's no way for me to really open this up. So what I'm going to have to do is grab my friend here, Mr. Hammer, and what we're going to do is go ahead and smash this thing open. So let me go ahead and hit this a couple times. All right, so uh, what I did was just go around the corners there. You guys saw me beating it, and I basically just broke off the little plastic housing that holds it in. Uh, very commonly, if you're not careful and you drop these on the floor, sometimes you can crack the plastic, just as an FYI. This one was actually pretty sturdy. It took a couple hits and it wound up smashing up. Now, inside of here, uh, this is where our cover was, the plastic cover. You guys can see the little remnants left of it. And if we just peel back, and I might have to use my screwdriver here, we have a filter element. Now, this filter element is not really thick. It's not really a screen or anything. It's... I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it almost feels like an absorbency scotch bright pad kind of in a way. Uh, let me see if I can just get it worked out of the edge here. Now you guys will notice that there is quite a bit of dirt. This is the bottom side where the pickup would be. And then the top side after it's filtered, you guys will notice this side is clean. And this is really dirty. Now we don't have a lot of buildup on here. Um, it's a little bit, but not a whole lot. You can see my fingers clean versus if I take it and I rub it on here. You guys can see all that buildup. So these filters do work and they work quite great. Um, now this is the element. Uh, like I said, there's no way for me to describe this. It almost feels like a piece of felt. That's actually the best way to describe it. And uh, it's just very thin, but it does do a good job because you guys saw it does uh, filter out pretty good. Now I'm going to take my little razor blade that we have. See if I can't uh, cut it in here and see if we have any layers to this. Or if this is just as uh, basic as it's going to get and just be a felt filter. Uh, because right now that's what it feels like like a piece of cloth like a really nice winter jacket type almost kind of like a wool jacket and um yeah that's basically what's in there guys there's no way for me to really rip this apart or see anything in here because um what this does is just simply traps any fine particles uh, think of it almost like a wool kind of a material or a felt material and you guys can see it's not very thick it's quite thin uh, and that's pretty basic as it gets uh I wasn't expecting too much in these trans filters, they're all the same. They either have a felt uh, paper media or they have you know some sort of synthetic fibers. Uh, this one you can see it's a, it's a synthetic fiber because this definitely feels like uh, cloth. It's not just cardboard paper or anything. But uh, that's what's inside of a trans filter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, it was pretty short. Please comment, like, and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.